Sit up as tall as you can, knees up to the ceiling, feet flat on the floor. Yeah. Grab your knees, lift your chest. Good. Holding onto the knees, press into the shins, and then again, that same exercise we did when we were standing, I want you to do it again. Find the lower tips of your shoulder blades. The lower tips of your shoulder blades is right where your bra line is. Guys. <laughs> you know where that is, right? Draw your chin back, throat back. So it, I just want you to hold it for a second because one of the most important things I want you to get from this practice is good posture. Because as you're walking through the world, how you walk says so much about you. And not only says something about you, but it causes you to feel a certain way. So boobies up. There you go. I just say that because it makes people laugh. Arms out. Again, lift, stern them up, stern them up. Drop the shoulders down. Now zip up from pubic bone to belly button and pull up, like the pelvic floor pulling up. It's just an energy. So as we do all of these exercises, I want you to see if you can keep pulling up that lift, that lift of the pelvic floor up. Can you feel it? It's, it feels like, it's kind of like if you have to go to the bathroom but there's no bathroom in sight. <laughs> Yesterday I was at Soho Equinox, the water wasn't working, there was no bathroom. Mm. That was a test. I taught class like this. Go. Lower one inch. Just one. Recheck your alignment. Stern them up. Stern them up. Good. Good. Drop the shoulders. Plug the head of the arm bones in the sockets. Good. Lift the sternum up. Check your neighbor. Give them a smile. See if they're looking good. Go one inch lower. Everybody still looking good? One inch lower. One inch lower. You're almost there, you're almost there. You're almost there. Is anybody shaking yet? Yes. Good, shake. I'm looking for shaking. I didn't see any yet, but as soon as I see some, we'll go all the way down. Anybody want to sacrifice? Are you shaking? Who? Okay, lower down. You're stronger than you think you are. Press your feet into the floor. All the way down, walk your heels as close to your butt cheeks as you can. Press all four corners of your feet into the floor, lift your hips up. Just your hips, good. Now really notice how your knees are working. You want your knees to be going straight out from the hip bones, not going wide at all, right? So it's like dropping the inner groins. When you drop the inside of the inner thighs, you release tension in the lower back. Now see if you can find your tailbone mentally and lengthen your tailbone between your knees. So again, it's that lift of the pelvic floor, but then there's the lengthening. Good. Nice. Take your hands underneath you, interlace your hands, and shimmy your shoulder blades together. That same feeling we did earlier of pressing the shoulder blades together, try to find it here, and lift your chest so high up that it touches your chin, but not your chin to your chest. Now really snuggle those arms. So you shouldn't be on your back. Now you're actually on your upper arms. Can you feel it? Yeah. Now press your feet into the floor as much as you can and release your arms and take your fingers up to the sky. But don't drop your hips. Don't drop your hips. Try to keep pressing down. So really important back bending, so important to be able to move the spine in both directions. Now keep your hips up and take your thumbs over your head to touch the floor behind you. Straight arms, straight arms. Yes, straight arms. Now as you bring your arms forward, you're going to slowly roll your spine down. Bring your arms forward to the ceiling and slowly roll your spine down. That's it, Tiff. Good. So you're going to put that together. Hips up, arms over your head. Hips down, release the arms all the way down to the floor. Hips up, arms over your head. Hips down, release the arms to the floor. One more. Push down, arms up over your head. And down, release the arms to the floor. Nice, release. Take your right leg up in the air, flex your foot, take your hands behind your thighs. <clears throat> take your opposite leg straight down, reach the heel as high towards the ceiling as you can. Extend the foot, extend the heel, bring your nose to touch your knee and hold. Nose to touch your knee. Try to bring the opposite foot up off the floor. Flex it, good, really flex it. See if you can actually get your nose to touch your knee, good. If it's not there, 
Imagine like any minute it could happen and you're gonna get a million dollars if it does. I saw a lot of people who've done that one. Okay, so now you're gonna let go of your foot leg, but don't drop your body down. Just don't hold yourself up, yes. <clears throat> release, hold, don't release everything. Get your nose to touch your knees. Still, still, still go. Still wanting, still intending, still reaching, if, even if it's not this lifetime. Eight, seven, six, yes, you can put your hand behind your head if your neck is talking to you. Three, two, done, release. Nice, switch to the other side. Opposite leg up, flex it. Opposite foot down, inner spiral, that other foot, that means it's not turned out to the side. Good, and it should be extended and long like you're standing on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, flex your feet, nose touches the knee, opposite foot extends as long as possible. Hold, so you're getting a, you're getting a stretch in the hamstring. Try not to extend the knee towards the chest, but the, knee, the heel up to the ceiling. So push your legs straight, straight, straighter, flex harder, good. Now nose touches the knee and release the hands. Release the hands, good. Eight, seven, you're still wanting to get that knee to the nose. Nose to the knee. Four, three, two, release. So good. Everybody lie on your side to face Nate. Whichever leg is on top, reach back and grab your heel. So you're doing a quad stretch, you're on your side, same thing, lift the pelvic floor, tuck your tailbone under, and I want you to lengthen the knee out from the hip. So even though you can't make the leg bone longer, you make the muscles around it longer. So you're extending through the front of the hip, and you're extending the knee out, heel to the buttocks, try to flex your foot. Now pull your foot, push your foot into your hand, and move the leg back. So you're in a single leg bow pose. So the foot's gonna go back, move it back, open, 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 push the foot back, push the foot back, more, shoulders back, shoulders back, hold, hold, open more, open more, shoulders back, push the foot away from your butt cheeks as much as you can, as much space from your heel to your butt cheeks as you can get. Good, and release, other side. Stay facing front, just flip around. <laughs> First, just the quadriceps stretch. Lengthen through the knee. Now take it to a back bend. Pull your belly in. Reach back, reach back, and release. Lie on your back. Turn your palms to face up. Shake out your legs a little bit. Make sure your palms are facing up and your shoulder blades are in on your back. Little space between your teeth. Let your head totally melt into the floor. Wiggle your toes a little bit. Everybody take a big deep breath in. And exhale with your whole body. It's time to take a full deep breath in, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Expand your rib cage, expand, hold it, and exhale, release. This time I'm gonna ask you to do the same thing, but when you take the big deep in exhale, I want you to flex your feet, clench your fists, lift your legs up off the floor, and contract everything, including your face. One, two, three, lift. Head up off the floor, head up off the floor. Legs up, legs up, legs up. Squeeze your fists, squeeze your fists, squeeze. Scrunch everything, everything. Release, let go. <clears throat> now you know what we're doing. I want you to do it again. Even scrunch your face. You're not going to get any wrinkles. <laughs> One, two, three. Inhale, squeeze, flex, flex, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Release. Good. Let your body be in a totally relaxed state. Put the expression on your face of total peace and calm. 
One of the main intentions of this practice is to get how powerful you are, that you exercise that power. And it starts by being mindful, witnessing. Witnessing how you treat yourself. Witnessing how you become the obstacle to your own good. And it's not easy to make change. And that's why so many people have a hard time doing it. But if you love your life, if you have reverence for your life, reverence for your body, reverence for your work, and that this journey of a lifetime can be over who knows when. So it's a practice of being grateful for what most people take for granted, life itself. And that you get the power to choose if you're gonna go through this journey with love or with fear. That's a blessing. What a blessing. In this instant right now, your life could change. You could be flooded with miracles if you just get out of the way. So I wanna come back again to the serenity prayer. There's so many things we each have in our lives that we're struggling against, we're resisting, we're mad at ourselves for, we're ashamed of, we feel guilty about. And Eckhart Tolle calls that insanity. When you keep doing things over and over that cause you your own suffering. But through sati, through awareness, you can start to cultivate the power to make conscious choices. So God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change. I want you to think of something that you're always complaining about that you can't change. Your past. Somebody else your age, what you've done in the past, who you've been in the past, any mistakes you've made. It's past. It's gone. Or if you're complaining about anything you're not willing to change, a relationship, your job, your home, your car, That's insanity. <clears throat> so I want you to think of two things. You're like, I'm done complaining. I'm not changing it. May I have the serenity to just accept it. And mean it. Ask for it. Ask for it. Now think of two things that you can change, but you haven't had the courage to change. You keep thinking it's gonna to be too hard. You think you don't have enough strength. You don't have what it takes. Now ask for the courage to make the change. May I have the courage to change the way I feed myself, change the way I see myself. Be as specific as you can. You're born to thrive, not survive. Thrive, fly, soar. Life is intended perfection for you. But because you have free will, you have to choose it. And it's not easy, that's why we call this warrior training. But every time you challenge your fear, every time you doubt your doubts, every time you choose consciously love over fear or hate, or harmful actions, you gain authentic power. You're no longer looking outside of yourself to the world to save you, to help you, to heal you, because you know how to access it from inside. So when we say, I am consciously, we are calling upon a higher power to do for us what we have not been able to do for ourselves. So I want you to take one I am statement that now is you declaring your future. And in your own words, say, I am, and finish the sentence. And see, in your mind, the vision of it already done. 
That's the power of attention and intention. You put your intention in your attention and the universe handles the detail. Be grateful as you see it. You have the power to do this. Be grateful. My friends, you get to create anything. Make it good. Make it beautiful. Don't be afraid to dream. And now your work from now on is to let the universe handle the details. But then when an opportunity comes up, you have to take it. Just like when you tend to walk across the room, there's a whole process that happens that you have no idea how it happens. You have the intention, universe handles the process, and you go. Sing with everything in your life. You have a partner, and that partner is unlimited, all-powerful, all-knowing, everywhere, always. And there is nothing that is impossible. Nothing with divine love. So take a big deep breath in. Exhale, ah. <clears throat> Roll over to your right side. Come up to sit. Cross your legs. Place your hands in front of your heart. And mentally affirm, I am more powerful than I think I am. I have everything that I need. What I seek is already within me. I am it. And so it is. Bowing forward, sealing it in, and give each other a hand. How do you feel?